Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, I'm gonna teach you all my tips and tricks about picking the right yarn colors. I get a lot of questions about this. How do I pick my colors? I want the exact same colors you have so I know that they're gonna match together or look great together. And today I'm gonna show you all my tips and tricks for how I pick color. Not that it is a color theory class. I'm not getting technical. There's gonna be nothing for you to remember other than how to match your yarn or how to purchase yarn to match yarn you already have so that your projects have a pop and a bit of spice and the colors really, really look good together. So for me, picking yarn colors, I always pick one color that I wanna start with. So I love this mint green from Ice Yarns. It goes with so many other colors that are fabulous. So pick the color that you want to start with. So this is my starting color. Step number two, I grab my color wheel. I got this one off Amazon. I got two actually, I can't find the one that I've opened. So I'm opening my backstock my emergency color wheel. <laughs> the trick is to line up this center space, this one right here, with the color that matches your yarn the best. So turn, 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 turn. So I think it's gonna be somewhere in this area, the best I can match it to. It might actually be closest to this green right there, third from the bottom on the green, on that column right there. That is the closest that I can find easily. It doesn't have to be perfect. You just want the closest you can find on your color wheel. So I'm this green right here. How we can do it, we can stay in the same circle. So anything in that same range, third from the center will be great. But the easiest way, if you're picking one color to go with it, that one color would be this soft pink right here. Actually, let me show you this over on the tutorial table. So the easiest way to use your color wheel, match your yarn. Just find whichever box is the closest. I'm gonna say this yarn belongs right up there. And just put your finger straight across to the other side. And we're gonna look for that color. So same row, so fourth up from the center approximately. And find that color. This is as close as I have. And you put those together and you can see that that looks really great. So that's an easy way to start. So to match the green yarn, the mint green, I'm gonna look for this sweet little blue and that sweet little chartreuse or light green in the same ring, so third ring from the center. So I have this one here. And for the blue, I have this shade here. They don't have to be a perfect match, you're just getting the idea of which colors go nicely together. So these three would be gorgeous, maybe with a white for just a little bit of a border or a stripe in between the color change. So that's an easy option. You find your yarn color and then pick the two colors a second space over in the same row or the same ring. If you're just putting in two colors, just go straight across. Look for this sweet little pink color. So that would be a cute option if you're just using two colors. Or you can add to that by finding an uh, orange and also a purple. So there is an orange and there is a purple. So those colors would also go great together. So you're staying with your green that matches straight across and then the ones over here. So you're skipping two and the third <laughs> over on each side. Another way you can do it is picking these two colors right here. So more of a dusty pink and more of a peachy shade. I don't really have a peachy, so I'm gonna be using the same shade. <laughs> I don't really have that color. So these colors would also go great together. And then using the color wheel again, any, any color you want, you can just pick the opposite color. So same ring, opposite side. So these two would go great together. Yellow and purple would go great together. Orange and turquoise go lovely together. Mint and pink, always lovely together. Now some other little tidbits I want to talk to you about on the color wheel is you start with the pure color on the outer ring, and I prefer to work with the tints, so that's like adding white. Those are the colors I prefer, but not everybody does, and that's totally fine. On the other side are the shades, the tones and the shades. So you still have your pure color, 
but the first three are mixed with gray, so these ones are getting darker, and the last three are mixed with black. So it starts with tones and goes to shades. You don't have to remember any of that. The only thing I'm doing when I am matching up my yarn is I get the color wheel and my yarn, and I just see if it matches anything on the tones or shades side, which it doesn't, they're all too dark for me or I go to the other side where it is just the tints. And that's usually where I can match it up better for the colors that I tend to crochet with. If you have a darker shade, like this lovely purple, it might not fit. There might not be anything great to match it on this side. So we can check on the dark side. And then what, whichever side you are working on, see I think it's pretty good over here. So whichever side your yarn matches best, you wanna find your other colors from the same side of your color wheel or with the same amount of gray or black mixed in. I just think of it as dirt. There's colors that don't have any dirt in them. They look really like fresh. They're not muddled or dark. And then there's some shades that just kind of have a bit of mud. So I look at my yarn and I see if it looks a bit toned down, I suppose that's what it is. If it's toned down, then I also mix it with other yarns that are also toned down. The easiest way I do it, just automatic, is milk or mud. So that's what you wanna keep in your head, which is pretty easy. They both start with M, they're both kind of fun to say. So milk or mud. So milk is any color that has been mixed with milk, with white. So it's crisp and clean and spring-like. And then the other option is the same colors, but they have been mixed with mud. So they are more like earth tones, natural. They have a bit of a shadow to it. They're not super clean and crisp. They're more like fall. They can be darker shades, but they can also be pastels. Any color can be mud or milk. So when you're shopping for yarn or when you're mixing your colors or picking your colors for a project, just ask yourself, is it milk or mud? And try not to mix the two. Your colors will pop and sing a lot better if you keep the mud together and if you keep the milk together. <laughs> like this gorgeous color here. Ooh, that's so cute, right? Then I just pick the colors that would match. So this would also go great with the yellow on this side. It would go great with the pink on that side. And it would also go great with an orange or a fleshy kind of color in here. Do I have one? I just have this one orange, but it would still go pretty great. Now you don't have to mix all those colors together. You have your main color, you have a second color, and you have a highlight color. A lot of the time, I'm just gonna use two colors for a blanket. I'll have my main color and I'll add a couple stripes of a second color, and then I might edge it or border it in the third. So aim for two thirds of your main color, one third of your secondary color, and then a highlight of a third, usually a white, a black, a gray, a neutral, or a real color that you like from the color wheel. And that is how you can use a color wheel. Now let me show you some tips and tricks over on the computer. Just go to your browser and type color.adobe.com and this amazing screen pops up. What you want to look out for is this center box here. If you do have a ball of yarn that you are trying to match, you can just get this center box as close as you can to the yarn you want to match. So let me just minimize my window a bit so I can see that color over on the side. And now we're gonna move this center circle around until this center box matches the yarn. Ooh, it's getting pretty close. So we're gonna say that is my color that I'm trying to match. So now you can drag these other circles out and that it keeps the color you're trying to match and then you can move all these other circles around to see if you have any other yarn shades that you want to use. If you like any of them, you can keep them all cool on the one side or you could make them warm on the other side. And you can individually take each one. If you're trying to match a green, you could move each color a little more independently, depending on what yarn you have or what colors you're trying to match. Another way you can do it easier, you just pop down all of these options on the side just click them and see what it does. So this is monochromatic, so it matches the same green, but in different shades and tints of the same color. And the next one down, you get three color choices, but they give you doubles. But these would be your three here, your three main ones, and then they give you an extra on each side in case you wanted to use five colors. 
There's complementary. Now this is the way to go. This is the easiest. So you would be picking this color here, your center color, and you would match it with this color on this side. So this is a great way of matching what yarn you have with another color that you probably have, but you wouldn't put together. So that is an easy way of doing it, and that is just picking the two colors. Then there's split complementary, so that is three colors. There's split complementary, that gives you your five. So two that are nearby and two that are opposite. There's a square. So that gives you your opposites plus your opposites. Interesting. And you can, of course, move if you have a different shade of yarn or you want to match something, you can move all this around. Then there is compound. Ooh, that's pretty, isn't it? Adds that gray color in there. This is a lovely color combination. You can do shades. So that's as variations of the same color. And then you can do custom. You could pick whichever way you want to go. So that is one way of doing it. If you want to save it to your library, you can just add it over here and enter the name of it, whatever project you're working on or mint green or whatever yarn you want to match. And then you'll have a color reference in this library for that yarn and what yarn would be going with it. This is a fun thing to do. It's a little bit uh, time consuming, not as quick as just using a color wheel in real life, but it is pretty fun to just spend some time moving these uh, circles around and seeing these amazing color combinations that pop up. I mean, that's pretty fun. Another thing you can do on this create tab is extract theme. This is where you can drag a file, a picture, and it will pull out the colors for you. It's really, really great. So I have some pictures here. Let's take one and drop it. Look what it pulls up. Isn't that great? You can also move these around if you want to get a particular color in that flower or in your background. You can move these to wherever you want them to be not just automatic, so that you can totally customize it, maybe to match a particular color of yarn you have or highlight a particular part of the flower. So that's super cool. You can also change it along the side. You could do bright, muted, deep, dark, or none. I don't know what that is. So colorful. And how fun is that? It's really neat, right? So that is a really cool way of doing it. Plus, you can just drag a new picture over top and it'll give you those colors as well for whatever picture. So you just keep dragging and dropping until you find a color combination from your picture that you love. Bright, ooh, look how gorgeous that is. So this is really fun. If you find a picture that you love, you're like, that's a gorgeous picture. See what colors you can get out of it here. And again, this is free. It also tells you the codes for the colors underneath if you wanted to do anything on the internet. And you can also save it to your library. Then you can use this tab here, extract gradient, and you can move the center one around. And this will give you three colors from the same picture, whichever you like or whichever matches your yarn. Ooh, that was gorgeous in there. Oh, that is so pretty. So this is a really fun way of spending your time also. Another option on this website, which is free by the way, you can click explore. And this takes your general color that you're working with or exploring and it gives you other co color combinations that people have already done. Like this is a great one right there. And you can add it to your library or download it whichever you like and you can scroll through and there is pages and pages and pages of these great color combinations that pop up. You can also check this other tab trends. So these are the fashion colors, graphic design colors, illustration colors. I don't know what this is but I like the color combinations, architecture colors, gaming, wilderness. Oh these are pretty. There'd probably be some great ones in wilderness for crochet colors or wearables, flavors, so some food ideas, travel. So you can kind of scroll through here and anything you want to see more, you can just click this view more and it pops up. So this is one website that's really fun. Another one you can use for some color inspiration is Coolors. On this page, you just press your space bar. Space, 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 space. And all these different color palettes pop up. So you can just go through really, really quick. 
and see which colors you like. If there is one that you do like and you went past it, ooh, see, this color's great. So you can lock it. So this, I really like this lavender or this lilac. They call it maximum blue purple, but I'm going to lock that one. I'm going to press space again, but this one is locked. So this one, this color here in the center, this purple is going to stay. And it's going to bring up more colors that would match it in this, that would be complementary. So that's pretty cute. So you just keep pressing space. If you have gone past one, you can just press Control and Z, and that'll get you back to your last window. So that's one way of getting back in case you've gone forward but realized you just saw a color you really liked. And then you can, if we like this green, we can lock the green, and then those two will stay. Ooh, that's getting pretty. Ooh, that's a nice one. So I'm going to keep these three colors, and we'll just keep mixing up the other two until we like it. So this is a fun way of picking colors also. A good thing, it also has the code to replicate the exact shade in whatever project you're working on. So both of these websites are free to use. You don't have to uh, pay anything. This one does want you to pay a few dollars a month if you don't want to see that ad. Three dollars a month. See, I don't, I'm fine with it. <laughs> I'm fine with it. But that is how you do it. And it's a really kind of fun way to match your yarn colors. So a color wheel helps you find those colors of yarn to use that you wouldn't pick automatically, but look great together. So how do you pick your colors? Tell me how you do it in the comments under this video. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.